Hey guys, what's up? So I just got off the phone with the human resource department at my work. So Levi just decided to climb up onto the couch and just have a little nap all on his own. He just climbed on up there and went to sleep. I guess he was tired. I work tonight, so Nick's probably gonna be mad at me that he's having a nap because now he'll be up later. But Nick, look, he did it all on his own. There's nothing I could do. Poor little guy. It's only one o'clock. It's an earlier nap, not like four o'clock. Yeah, how sweet he looks when he sleeps. He looks just like me when I sleep. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So I just got off the phone with the human resource department at my work and uh, I was they were just, I wanted to ask them if there was any areas I could work on for the next interview. What did I do well? What did I do poor at? All that type of stuff, right? And they said that I did an extremely good job at the interview and that uh, I scored um, over expectations for all of the questions they had. So the only thing was there was another candidate that was there that just did slightly better than me. So they got the job. They said if I was a different, normally like for this position, if I had been in a different pool of people applying, that I would have for sure gotten a job. And if this person did didn't get it I was the next in line to get it so like I was better than all the other people that applied so that was encouraging but uh, also still a little discouraging because I didn't get it but it was still nice to hear that I did a really good job and that they were really happy with the way I interviewed and all that type of stuff right because then you know you at least leave knowing that you did everything right you did everything you could and you did everything right and you're not like left thinking, oh man, I must be really terrible at this or whatever it may be. I'm glad to know that I did my best and for next interview, I know that the way that I prepare and the way that I answer my questions is right on track of what I'm supposed to be doing. So yeah, just wanna give you guys an update. Brielle and I are gonna do some puzzles together. We're gonna make Barbie one? Yeah, but I can't make a Barbie one. No, it's too hard? Let me help you? Yeah. Okay, I will help you. And what are you up to, Beckett? And what are you up to, hey? You? You've been waddling around all day long. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Yeah? Is that what you've been doing? Yeah. He's actually been a really happy boy today, haven't you? Yes, you have. You've been smiling. <laughs> What's that face for? <laughs> What's that face for? Oh. <laughs> What do you see? Uh, oh. He's trying to get the rope on the camera, like the thing that you put around your wrist, the wrist strap. That's what it's called. Is that what you're trying to do? Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, I gotta go, I'm on puzzle duty. Okay, Brielle and I worked really hard and we did good teamwork, didn't we? Good. Yeah, we did. She did the Barbie part and I did the other stuff uh, and then we joined them together. Uh, see, did she do it? Yeah. She did it! Check it out. Barbie and her cat. Barbie and her cat. Good job. Finish it. Should we do another one? Oh, yeah. But, but can we leave it? You want to leave that out? Sure, yeah. we can leave it out. Levi, what are you looking at? What is it? Yeah. Say fire? Yeah. That's a big fire. We're hoping it's not melting the kayak because <laughs> it's right by it in the fence. Isn't that crazy, guys? Ugh. I don't know. I took pictures to prove it in case anything happens because they didn't say anything to us. Well, we'll see. But it stinks really bad too. Like, it really sucks having it. And it's almost every single day. Can't wait till they're done the rentals on this place. Hey guys, check out Levi. You got your own little seat there? I'm sitting on your block. Looking at all the Lego. Ooh. Oh, Captain America. But look at his little setup here. So we've got all the Lego in here. We store it in here. And he found this little box of block to sit on. He pulled it up and started going through the drawer. <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Guys, I started making hamburgers outside in the barbecue because they're delicious. And then halfway through the burger cooking, the barbecue ran out of propane. So I had to bring it inside and cook the rest in the oven. Does that ever happen to you guys? It's terrible because it's not going to taste the same. I'm really disappointed. And you know what? It happens to me every single year when I try to barbecue for the first time too. So I should really learn my lesson and not even try and start with the old tank and just start by getting a new tank. Hey guys, what's up? So I just finished working out and then I filled my what I'm growing this year video. So here's what it is. If you want to know what I'm growing this year in my vegetable garden and why I'm growing it, you're going to have to go over to my channel and check it out. Canadian Family Dad CFD, that's what's up.
But go ahead, check out my channel if you want to see what I'm growing this year in my vegetable garden. It's going to be good. I'm pretty excited. I hope everything turns out good this year. I'm already late starting my seeds. So hopefully they all grow and grow before the end of the season because we have kind of a short season in Canada. But yeah, so check that out if you guys are interested. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm just about to make my protein smoothie and then I was pouring my frozen uh, fruits inside my blender and I was reminded of my friend Mike and I were making fun of the grocery store how we were like I feel like they just pick like unripened food and put them in there and then like they just people buy it because sometimes it tastes so unripened right and now look what I see inside here look at that blueberry it's like completely green it's, it's like not even ripe at all it's pretty sad right like there's what a regular blueberry looks like and then there's this one so Mike I think that we were right some of the stuff they pick shouldn't have be thrown inside these bags. <laughs> okay guys, so I got my smoothie and I got my videos that I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna sit down and get that done. Thanks for watching tonight guys. And I hope that if you haven't already, you're gonna go ahead and click that subscribe button because we would love to have you as part of the community. And being part of a community means that you leave comments below. So go ahead and do that too so we can get to know you guys. And we're gonna leave a response to you if you leave a nice comment to us too. Even if you leave a mean comment, we'll still respond. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.